Welcome to Los Angeles, California, the undisputed drone capital of the world for aerial cinematography and movie making. But did you know in 2024, when it comes to drone deliveries, especially in the realm of fast food, Los Angeles has lagged behind, and it used to be the innovator. In the 40s and 50s, lots of inventions came from California, but now they're playing catch-up to states like Arkansas, Texas, Florida, and North Carolina. So in this video, we're asking the question, when will food deliveries by drone become a reality? Well, guess what? It already is. I'm going to share my own experiences that I had a few years ago when I worked for a startup company as a drone flight test operator. Join me as we explore the complexities and the evolving landscape of drone deliveries on the West Coast for 2024. I'll be sharing some little-known facts about the industry, important new drone laws, and how they're going to be affecting our daily lives in more ways than one. How you doing? My name is Merlin Dean, and I've been a drone operator for over 10 years. I started out with helicopters. I used to do aerial photography from small helicopters with a pilot, and we would get high-end real estate and B-roll, scenics, lots of different cinematography. But with the advent of drones, I was able to fly much higher and lower without bothering neighbors and also giving film directors lots of new creative choices. I got to work with a lot of wonderful people in the industry and it branches out. These are personalities I would have never known if it wasn't for the drone industry. This also means I can do high-end luxury weddings and big corporate events. My favorite is doing construction with drone deploy software, and that's 3D photogrammetry, orthomosaics. But what people don't know is when drone deliveries first started, you're doing drops from the air. You would lower the drone down and drop it from about 70 feet, and we had to fly within a quarter mile of the restaurant where the people would order. It's LA, so we had people taking out their phones and filming the deliveries. Just Look like at this guy. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's a drone. It's my meal. There it is. That's me. I'm the remote pilot in command, descending the drone. Yes. Here Bring it, it to Daddy. Here it comes. <laughs> People did not know what to think, man. It was crazy. If you had eggs, we would scramble them for you. <laughs> That's a mixed salad. Now, Stephen here, he was a great sport. The food was hot and delicious. And that's all the customer cares about. But the next level, definitely the drone winch cable development system. So that's where I helped out as a flight test operator. I would do pre-flight checks, set up the drones, and help out with doing thousands and thousands of test drops. Using the latest technology, we were using the DJI Chinese drones, the M300s, and the engineers worked really hard. We also tested at my house, so we did urban drops there. And I got to hand it to these guys. The software engineers did a terrific job. They delivered. It took about a year, and they perfected it. Look how smooth the cable comes down. And watch it slow down right near the ground. Very soft. That's the way it should be done. And then the cable going back up, it's a challenge when it's windy. So this company is now building their own drones, and you're going to find out why later with the new drone laws. So I moved on, but in the meantime, comparing drone deliveries to cars, there's no comparison. Everybody's been using Uber Eats, DoorDash, Grubhub, Instacart. And you know how that goes. You order on the app, then you got to wait for the restaurant. It could be a half an hour, depending how busy it is. And if you're at a business, or you're at home, you're starving, you're confused... That's a long time just for the food. Then the driver shows up after the food's already been done. He begins the journey. He's got to book other deliveries before he even takes off. Then it's another 15 to 30 minutes of the drive. It depends on how busy the restaurant is, traffic, weather conditions. So car deliveries can take 60 minutes or more, and the customers are not happy about that. Now compare the average drone delivery, 5 to 10 minutes after the food is done, and no tipping. Now check this out. There's new drone laws coming out in 2024 limiting Chinese-made drone use. So if it's a sensitive area like deliveries, inspections, Chinese drones are going to be outlawed. American drone companies have now stepped up. Companies like Zipline, DroneUp, Flytrex, Androll is an amazing military drone company. 
Skydio, Teal, Teal, Mana, Flyby, UPS, Freefly, Brink, Google Wing, Amazon, they're all going to be competing for your business. But in this video, we're going to check out a leader called Zipline. The innovative Zipline drone delivery system is definitely a game changer, and you're going to see why. So just imagine yourself, typical family, or you just need some food. You don't feel like going grocery shopping just for a couple of items. No problem. You're just going to use the app of whatever nearby store you would like. The store gets your order. They simply put it in a bag, and this is an orb. The orb flies into the drone. It's called a VTOL, vertical takeoff and landing. See the other drone coming back from a prior delivery? It's at the nest recharging. Meanwhile, the other drone goes up to five miles away. It knows where you are based on your phone GPS system. And check this out. Notice it's not swaying in the wind. That's because this orb has a proprietary fan system. It keeps it from going laterally in the wrong direction. It keeps it coming down smooth. So those fans are a fantastic invention. Also, it covered up the food. So once the latch opens up and takes off, there's your food. So it could be raining and you wouldn't have any problems. So you're just going to simply tap an app on your phone, watch your food be lowered from the sky. It's going to be that simple. So what do you think? Leave a comment. Drone deliveries are coming soon to your city. Are you going to be ordering some? Remember, it's going to be very simple. You're just going to tap an app of your favorite store, whether it's Carl's Jr., Hardee's, Taco Bell, Jack in the Box, McDonald's. Talk about fast food. When it comes by drone, your party's still going to be going on and you're going to be getting food, medicine, supplies. Drones are going to be serving humanity around the world and for good reason. And you won't hear these drones. They won't be very loud at all. So get ready. The drone highways coming towards you. Thanks for watching. Two hours later.